before you go ahead and just jump into that thing, ask God, is this it? Is this the one you want for me? Because I've seen a lot of relationships be destroyed or built depending on who they're with. Jesus had to bring me back, you resurrected me. Dark places, wrong faces, broke me down bad, but I made it style so official I be dripping. What's happening, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's Nefertiti, and I'm back with another video. And I'm back with another video. Hey, 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 hey. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're already subscribed, welcome back to the channel. My God, how you doing? <laughs> hope you're blessed. If you're new here, hope you're blessed. You know what I'm saying? Don't be stressed. Share the video, like it, let your friends know. Okay, but today what I want to talk about is pray about it first. And this is a prophetic word, okay? This isn't, this isn't just something I just went and studied and I'm like, okay. No, God put this on my heart to give to you. This is what I'm about to say is going to be from God. So let's, let's, have, let's let God have his way. Heavenly Father, I come before you, and I am coming before you as a mouthpiece for you, Lord. And I ask that everything that's on your heart, that's in your mind, that you desire for me to speak, that you speak through me fluently in the name of Jesus, Lord. Allow us to reach each and every person that you desire for it to reach, oh God. Even if the, it doesn't matter how many people it is, Lord, allow this video to reach who you are trying to speak to, oh God. Touch their hearts, penetrate their hearts so that they listen, they take heed, and that they understand what it is you're trying to say. I thank you, O oh Lord. Allow it to be a confirmation for those who need it to be a confirmation for. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Pray about it first. Pray about it first. Before you make that step, before you make that move, pray about it first. Before you get in that relationship, pray about it first. Before you take that job, pray about it first. Before you go on that trip, pray about it first. Hmm. This is in my spirit heavy, and this is for somebody and it may be, it may be more than one person. If you guys watch me, I don't do a lot of prophetic words. God does speak through me. I am a mouthpiece for him when he desires to speak through me, right? In most, most of the time when I'm on here, he does. But I'm saying a lot of the words I say are not always just like targeting towards a remnant of people. But this is for a remnant of people. God is saying to you, you need to pray about it. And, and, and relationships are coming to my mind. He's saying, pray about this relationship that you're, you're about to enter. You need to seek his counsel first. God, I'm coming before you, Lord, and I need to know, is this the person that you desire for me to be with? God, what is their purpose in my life? These are the type of questions that we have to ask God. Because I know a lot of us, you know, we'll seek God's counsel for everything else in our life. We'll ask God to help us with, with the house, with the job. We ask God to help us with friendships. We ask God to help us with our family. We know whatever. We might ask God to, to give us some things or give food, whatever. We'll ask God for everything else in our lives. But when it comes to romantic relationships, we're like, ah, I got this one. I don't need you to do nothing, God. I got it. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool on it. Why? Because we don't want him to tell us no. We don't want to hear it. We don't want God to be like, that's not it. <laughs> she ain't it. Uh, we, we don't want God to be like, he ain't it, sis. That's not the one I have for you. And I know a lot of people don't believe in like soulmates. A lot of people don't believe that there's just one person for you. And which I, I believe that like, you know, God has somebody for you. But I also believe we have like a free will. So if you decide not to date that person or something happens where y'all don't get together, I believe God can put you with somebody else. I do believe that. But I'm just saying there are people that God desires to put together. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because he has a purpose for you. But before you go ahead and just jump into that thing, ask God, is this it? Is this the one you want for me? Because I've seen a lot of relationships be destroyed or built depending on who they're with. And that is real. You know, you have to think about this. If you're thinking about marrying somebody, if you're thinking about going into a relationship with somebody, you have to understand that this, this person can make or break you. Now, some of y'all will be like, hold on, wait a second, because ain't nobody making or breaking me because I know who I am. Which you should. You should know who you are before you come into a relationship so that nobody can like, you know, break you. But what I'm saying is sometimes when you get in a relationship, it can make or break you. Like it can it can help you evolve, it can help you elevate, or sometimes it can bring you down, and that's real. I'm 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 talking real stuff. Sometimes it can bring you down. Some people, you know what I'm saying? They don't mean to, they may not mean to, but they can bring you down. So um 
be careful. You want to tread lightly about friendships, about relationships, about uh, job opportunities. But, you know, I'm, I'm really on romantic relationships at the moment. I'm just saying, you know, pray about it. And if you're about to get married, if there's somebody that you're about to marry and you never asked God about it yet, you need to go pray about it. You need to ask God, God, is this, a, is this the woman for me or is this the man for me? Because here's the thing. When the butterflies are gone and the honeymoon stage is over, it's real life hits. And so you're going to go through some ups and downs and some things will test your relationship to see if it's strong and to see if, you know, you guys are able to stand together. And if you've never been through a tough time with a person, you need to. You need to see what they're like when things are tough. You need, you need to see what it's like whenever it's, it's a storm. How do they act? How do they respond? But God wants to make sure you're with the right person. God wants to make sure you're with the person that is best for you. And he wants that for you. God cares about that for you. So I'm just telling you to pray about it before you go get married. If you've never counseled, if you never ask God, pray about it. Ask him. If you're about to go into a relationship, you know, you've been dating a guy or you've been dating a girl. Ask God, God. Is this even somebody you want me to date? Pray about it. And God will give you an answer. God will give you a nudge. God will give you a confirmation through somebody. I'm a confirmation for somebody because some of y'all is about to jump into the deep end and y'all ain't even praying. <laughs> some of y'all about to just jump into the deep end and not even pray about it. Let me tell you something. I, I have made many mistakes, even recently, jumping into a, not, not into a relationship, but, but taking on responsibilities when I never seek the counsel of the Lord. And mind you, I pray about everything, guys, all throughout the day. I even ask God to help me with my outfits. And to that point, you know, I pray about stuff like that. There are things that I didn't ask God for, and I took on certain responsibilities, and the weight was heavy, and I felt exhausted and drained because I... I did it on my own. I didn't ask God if I was supposed to do it. I didn't ask God what I should do because really, I didn't want his answer. I didn't want God to say, no, you need to wait. Don't, don't do that. Don't take that job. Don't, don't go over there. Don't join that group. But I wanted to do things my way because I didn't want him to tell me no. So guess what happens? We have free will. He allowed me to go ahead and da -da 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 -da, do my little thing. And guess what? He showed me. You're taking on more than you're supposed to because I never intended for you to take that. That was not the road I had for you, but because you chose to go down that road, I let you. I'm going to protect you. I'm going to keep you, but I'm telling you that you need to pray about it first. I'm telling you before you take that job, you need to pray about it. I'm telling you before you date that man, you need to pray about it. Before you date that woman, you need to pray about it because a lot of people have on masks. A lot of people are deceiving. You will be surprised how many people can have a mask on for a long time before they show who they are. Why do I keep coming back to relationships? Because there's somebody on here that's about to date somebody you're not supposed to. I mean, I don't know. This is God. You're about to get into something that God did not say you're, you should get into. Now, some of y'all might chew me up and be like, oh, well, God don't have to tell you every step of the way. We choose whatever. It depends on your relationship with the Lord. That's all I can say. It depends on your relationship with the Lord. But for those of you who are who are who are residing with what I'm saying, you know who you are, and you feel it, and you feel like this is for you. You know, if it ain't for you, it's just not for you. That's all right. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Every message is not gonna be for you. But this is for somebody or a few people that um is about to jump into the deep end, and God is saying, before you jump, pray. Before you jump, ask me. Before you jump, seek me. I'll show you. Because what if you're about to jump over there and God said, no, I was going to have you fly over here. And when you fly, you're going to take off. But if you jump over there, you're going to fall. Do you want to fall? How many mistakes have you made? I've made plenty. I've made plenty. And recently still making, sorry, y'all, this piece of hair is ugh, annoying. I've made plenty and recently made and still made mistakes where it's like, you didn't seek God's counsel. It's not worth it. So that's all I got to say. That is all I have. Literally, pray about it. Pray about it. Before you do it, pray about it. If you haven't already, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Be sure to join the team. Also, I have a reaction channel. Make sure you guys check that out. I have not posted in a long time, so don't get on me. But listen, I'm finna, I'm finna be on there again. So stick with the kid, all right? You know, watch the ones that's on there. Let me know. You have anything, any recommendations, anything you want me to, re to react to, something funny or something serious or some type of crime? Because I, I really want to get into crime and, like, stories and, like, 
investigations because I want to like, you know, I'm just into stuff like that. And it, it can be more than that. But, you know, let me know. You got you got some feedback? Let me know. Talk to me. All right. Look, I have everything in the description below. If you got to talk to me, my email, my social medias, hit a sister up. All right. Share this with your friends, your brother, your auntie, your uncle, <laughs> your boyfriend, your girlfriend, anyone who needed to hear this. All right. I love y'all. God bless you. Stay tuned.